Good morning, friends. Miss Mandy here, and today is monster story time. So I have two stories we're going to be reading today and two crafts that you guys can do at home today, all about monsters. So the first book is called Go Away, Big Green Monster by Ed Emberley. Does anybody know this story? Oh boy, when my kids were little, we used to read this all the time. So you ready? Go away, big green monster. Big green monster has two big yellow eyes. And a long bluish greenish nose. A big red mouth with sharp white teeth. Let's see your teeth. Two squiggly little ears. One, two. Scraggly purple hair. We don't have purple hair, do we? Only Big Green Monster does. And a big, scary, green face. But you don't scare me, big green monster. So, go away, scraggly purple hair. Go away, two squiggly little ears. Go away, long bluish greenish nose. Go away, big green face. Go away, big red mouth. Go away, sharp white teeth. Go away, Two big yellow eyes. Go away, big green monster. And don't come back until I say so. So that's all for our first story. And this second story, I was shopping for books last year at the bookstore. And I read this story and I was by myself and I loved it. So I bought it just for all my jam time friends. And it's called Eat Beat. And it's by Michael Rex. I hope you enjoy this story as much as I do. Eat Peat. That's a cute little monster. Oh, looks like Pete's found a house. Peat was playing on his bedroom floor when a monster appeared at his window. Hi, said Pete. Do you want to come play cars with me? The monster did not want to play cars with Pete. He wanted to eat Pete. <gasps> but playing cars looked like more fun. So they had some races. They set up parking lots. They made crashes. Hey, said Pete, what should we do next? Do you want to play pirates? The monster, he didn't want to play monsters. He didn't want to play pirates with Pete. He wanted to eat Pete. But the monster had never played pirates before. They dug for treasure. They walked the plank. They acted like scallywags. Next, said Pete, I think we should play blocks. The monster did not want to play blocks with Pete. He wanted to eat Pete. But he liked building things, so they made a castle. They built towers. They knocked them down. Now, said Pete, we should play superheroes. The monster did not want to play superheroes with Pete. What did he want to do? That's right, eat Pete. So he ate him. Oh no. The monster piled up some blocks. He put on a pirate hat. He spun the wheels of a car. It wasn't fun to play alone. He missed Pete. So he spat 
him out. That was not very nice, Pete told the monster. Sorry. Do you want to play superheroes, asked Pete. The monster did not want to play superheroes with Pete. He wanted to hug Pete. The end. Isn't that such a good story? Alrighty. Well, I hope you enjoyed those two stories. Now we're going to come down here and I prepped two crafts that I thought that you guys could do at home. So the first craft is painting rocks. And this is something all you need is a little paint or even some markers. So I had a lot of fun this morning. I was outside with my dogs and we were hunting for rocks. So you just need some rocks and I wipe them down with a little cloth. And then if you have some paint, I used paint on mine. You could paint your rocks. And on this rock over here, I put on some glitter after I painted it. You see, I have some squiggly eyes. You could get as creative as you want with these fun. This afternoon is I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna hide them. So when friends are outside walking, maybe they could see them and enjoy them. So painting rocks is a lot of fun. Over here, this next craft, doesn't this look like Big Green Monster to you? <laughs> so for this little guy, I just had a paper plate that I cut out. Cut out a paper plate, or you could have an adult cut out a paper plate, or maybe they could make a circle or a shape. And you, if it's okay with an adult, you could cut them out. So I got a shape, and then I colored in my shape. I took some construction paper, and I made some arms and legs. And to get it to be crunchy, I just folded them. And then I used some glue, simple glue. And you could even give him three legs or some crazy hair or two arms. You can get as creative as you want. And again, I happen to have my whole bucket of squiggly eyes from Jam Time Hair. So today I went a little crazy on squiggly eyes. But if you don't have squiggly eyes at home, you could make your own super easy with just some markers. And you can get creative with, with a mouth or some teeth. So let's see if you guys can make some of our monsters today. And if you do, I always love when your moms and dads and grandmas and nannies send me pictures of your fun projects that you do. I always enjoy them. So have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you next time.